Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have nothing but brass Brinks padlocks. I have the 30 millimeter, the 40 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter in the center. You can see I have the 30s and 40s already gutted. Regardless, we're still gonna pick it, and then we'll pick the 50 millimeter and gut that together. We're gonna single pin pick our 30 to start with, just to show how good a feedback that these things give. It's nice audible clicks. Pin one. We got three, one. There we go. There's our open. So you can hear it. Nice audible clicks. This one I can tell has tough bidding in it. And with that two, uh, most of these are also very easily rakeable as well. So this is our 40 millimeter. It also has four pins. There we go. And there's our open. And let's try our 50 millimeter now. This one has five pins. There we go, and there's our open. So I bet you can only assume that the 50 millimeter has five pins as well. Before I gut it, I am gonna close it because that will prevent the, um, the actuator from flying into the shackle uh, area there when we take the core out, when we take the plug out. And I did say I grub these, so at the top here, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these out. Pin one. I also realized that after I rub these, I didn't clean out the excess tapping fluid. So these might be a little dirty. So far, so good. Yeah, the 30 and 40 millimeter there, I um, just had to clean all the pins off. I had a whole bunch of excess dried tapping fluid all over it, all over the pins and the pin holes. Oh, that's all right, I guess, as long as it doesn't get stuck. Oh, okay, that was close. So. You saw how when I was tapping that, it turned the core, or the plug turned that way. And so all the driver pins were resting on that, luckily. If it turned the other way when I pulled it out, those driver pins would have got caught in this retaining hole, and I would have had a chance of breaking it. So there's the rest of our pins. And go ahead and just organize those real quick. And I'm having trouble seeing which one is the key pin. They are all standard. Oh, there it is. Where it is? There we go. So yeah. And here, I'll show you the pins. I'll click on them all. So our 40 millimeter over here, all standard pins. Our 50 millimeters, five pins, but all standard pins. And our 30 millimeter over here is again, four pins, but all standard pins. One thing that they all have in common as well, I believe is the actuator in the back. So let's pick them up. Screw that so we can see in the back the keyway there. Yep, all of them have the same exact actuator. So it's that double type right there where when you twist it, one side goes up, the left side will be pushed up, and the right side will be pushed down. And so when we put our, let's see, make sure there's nothing left in here. Okay, the springs are in there. The springs won't fall out, luckily. We won't get them in the keyhole, not this time around. So if I want to put this back together, I put that in there. We go on both sides of the actuator. I give it a slight turn to make it go straight. 
and then I tighten this up right here. And that is what allows that to be held in. And where's our key? Here we go. And so now, there we go. And as long as we have our plug in, the actuator, as I was mentioning while I wanted to close it, as long as we have our plug in, these actuators right here, they will not go and shoot into our shackle hole here. If we remove our plug, the tailpiece, the back tailpiece moves, and so these will shoot into the shackle piece hole if the shackle is not in place. So if you decide to do that and take on one of these endeavors, that is something to keep in mind. Anyways, that is our um, brass Brinks padlocks. These are really great padlocks to get to start with, to learn on, to practice on, because as you can see, they're all standard pins to give great feedback. And um, they're relatively easy open, so if all those fails, you can jiggle it open just to give yourself that reassurance that, uh, that what you're doing is correct. Anyways, um, I hope this helped, and uh, thank you for watching.